Hello, welcome. Here we are with the next video in Azure 70-5.3 Infrastructure as a Solutions. So, in the previous nugget, uh, we learned how to create a web app, what is a resource group, what is an app service plan, how do we create it, how to choose the selection. So, my web app has been created. You can see that in my Azure portal. Next thing is, uh, you will have to check the option of deployment slot. Let's say uh, this is the production slot that you have created. Your development team will deploy the code so that you can see something on this web app other than this default option. So what you can do is, let's say you, there are some things that you want to check before directly putting the code into the production to deploy anything. So we, have, we do not have, as you can see, we do not have any deployment slots here. So what you can do is, you can click on add slot. The name of the slot, this value would be appended to your main web app URL and will serve as the public address of the slot. Let's say you can see, uh, you can deploy the name as anything you can test. Sir, this for your test for staging. It says configuration to stone, don't clone configuration from an existing slot. Assert test rather just clone the configuration, whatever the configuration, whatever thing is deployed on this, you can clone it from the production. Let's say we select the option don't clone configuration from the existing slot. I click on OK. It is creating a deployment slot for my production slot at the back end. As soon as it is done, I will have the same web app, same setting. I can play with these. To deploy anything in production in the staging slot. It says successfully created the deployment slot. I click on it. You'll see that I have the same settings here what I have in production. The name of this slot is test assert staging. It says assert test web app, which was the name of my production web app, dash test assert staging dot azure website slot net. Let's say what you've done is there is a there is a special uh, they, they decided that you'll deploy the code onto the production on this decided day we have the release date for the new production. So the development team has deployed the code. These are the deployment options. We'll discuss how we can deploy it on this web app. So let's say uh, either of the options that selected, your team has deployed the code onto the staging web app. It is up and running fine. You browse the page, you see some data that you wanted to see. Intended data is coming, everything is running fine. So, on the production day, what you want to do is you want to swap this configuration from the production so that the staging thing that you have verified and is running fine, you can see the same configuration on the production. So, what do we do? Do we do the deployment again on the production? No. Simple option is you click on swap. So when you click on swap option, it says swap type, swap, source, test, assert, staging. So this would be the source and the destination would be my production slot, which is the, the web app that we created in the previous nugget, which is assert test web app dot Azure website dot net. Preview changes, no warning. I don't want any warning. Just click on OK. Click on OK. It is swapping the web app slot. So, that port which was in testing in the staging slot would be replaced with the production slot. So, the staging slot becomes production, production slot becomes staging slot. So, whenever there is, there would be public traffic would be routed to the staging slot now. When you click on the swap option, the code does not get transferred to the production slot from the staging slot. Code remains at the same position in backend. The traffic will be routed to the staging slot which becomes which is production now after this swap. I hope I'm clear to you guys. So it is completed. It says grab operation completed successfully. So my production becomes staging, staging becomes production. Let's say after everything we have done, swapping is completed, it was successfully done. Let's say there is a scenario where you get the information from the team management that no, we do not see the intended things in the production. Something went through. 
something is not right you have to roll back it so what do you do yes exactly you click on swap again it will roll back the deployment because the staging slot has now become production roll it back to make it again the staging slot click on swap again source is test extra staging now right Mission is production click on ok swapping web app slots it will swap this production from staging now so everything that was in step 1 it would become the same thing in step 1 we have production slot with the staging slot and we did a swap for our staging slot to become the production slot now we have rolled back the requirement and my staging is staging again and my production will be production again so this is how you do this is the deployment slot, this is how you create a slot and this is how you swap the slot. It will be done in few seconds, probably 30 seconds from now. You wait, see it's done. Everything is back to normal, you can do your testing again in the staging slot. I hope I'm clear to you. Make notes, do your lab and you'll be able to understand it more. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.